In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Roblox widescreen on Windows 7. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Before I start talking about the methods that I'm going to show you in this video, I want to highlight something. I am doing this process on a Windows 11 computer, but don't worry, the methods that I'm going to present are also going to work for Windows 7. I'm only recording this video on a Windows 11 computer because I don't have the means to go back to Windows 7. All that you have to do is first access the device manager. So if you look for device manager using the search function, when you click the Windows button, you will be able to access it here. Inside of the device manager, what you have to do is go over to display adapters and there's going to be either a dedicated graphics card like here or something like Intel integrated graphics or iGPU, etc. Regardless of what you have, all that you have to do is right click the display adapter shown here and then update driver. A new window will open and you simply have to allow Windows to search automatically for drivers. Let this process complete and of course make sure that Roblox is not open du during this process. With this out of the way, the next thing to do after you are done updating your graphics drivers is to find where Roblox is installed and access the executable. So for me, here it is, Roblox Player and Roblox Studio. You can go wherever the shortcut for your game is or you can find the executable file. Once again, make sure that it is closed. I'm going to do this process here to demonstrate what you have to do. Right click Roblox Players and then go into Properties. Now switch over to the Compatibility tab and in here you have to take two options. You have to make sure that you run this program in compatibility mode and you can leave it on Windows 8 and then disable full screen optimizations. Make sure that you apply this, click OK and the next time you open Roblox Player with your graphic drivers up to date running the latest version available and with the change that you've made to the actual Roblox Player executable, you should be good to go. If you are still encountering issues, I would highly recommend uninstalling Roblox completely and re-downloading it in its entirety from the Roblox website. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Roblox widescreen on Windows 7. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.